O oh, mind, leave all great things or persons far from you and go to Vrindavan with love. For there is a divine jewel, a nectar stream of good moods named Radha there. Who redeems the sincere souls? <laughs> oh mind, leave all great things or persons far from you. You see, we are first requesting to our mind. <clears throat> The, the most important thing in a spiritual life, life is my mind. In devotional life is my mind. <coughs> oh, my mind, you have to help me. How you can help me? When I come to Vrindavan, I, my mind is stay here. What is the goal of coming to Vrindavan? This body come to Vrindavan. For what? To bring mind in Vrindavan. Understand? I am here and calculating in my home in Italy or Belgium or Switzerland what is happening, then my mind is not with me, not in Vrindavan. If you think for Japan and you are staying in Vrindavan, mind is not in Vrindavan. Your flesh body is here. So, I requesting to my mind why we do the bhajan <coughs> to control the mind, why we are chanting, how I can balance, control my mind. <coughs> Only coming to the Vrindavan with this mode you will get very faster result if your mind is also with you in Vrindavan. <coughs> when mind is in Vrindavan, the sense who can <coughs> The senses is control, controlling to the body, and body is in the control of the mind. So all your senses and body will be in Vrindavan if your mind is in Vrindavan. So my body come to Vrindavan, but oh my mind, you also stay in Vrindavan and try to go deep in Vrindavan. Try to understand the beauty of Vrindavan. <coughs> because this is Vrindavan is a temple of Radhika. Goddess of love, temple of goddess of love. This Vrindavan is not a Krishna's place. Krishna is everywhere because where Radhika is there, Krishna is there. And Krishna alone also living. But because of you, He always here with you. That to understand with and realize this, if he, this mind is in Vrindavan, This is the 
वन ऑफ द साधना फॉर कमिंग इन वृंदावन दिस इज द रियल थिंग टू प्रैक्टिस टू बी इन वृंदावन सो द आचार्य टैलिंग प्रबोधानंद सरस्वती इज टैलिंग ओ माइंड प्लीज कम टू वृंदावन and don't go from here stay till your body is here please stay up to that time and try to understand here because your mind is running very fast here there here there here there so if you want to control the mind vrindavan is only place to do this बिकॉज यू कम टू वृंदावन Leave it. I know that is great for you what you are doing, and it will make you great person. But leave for the moment when you are in Bindal. <laughs> leave all great things or persons. Huh? Or persons. And persons also. He maybe is great person for you, but leave for the moment. Then you can enter in Debbie Vrindavan. If not, then we come as a tourist and go as a tourist back. We nothing achieve. But if you leave your great person and great things. For moment, you will see many things. One day, my dear, one moment of time, if you do this, result is there. If you are, if you are, we are staying one week. I do that. you will be you will be sure going to realize something realization will come new person become nervous what is happening how i will tolerate this <coughs> she went to radha kun radha rani said that i accept you never forget your gurudev always with your gurudev I accept you. She was very serious. What happened? What will happen now? Are you you are lucky? <laughs> she accept you. <laughs> Why? Because she is living with his mind in Vrindavan. She is full time engaged in Vrindavan. You see the routine of her. First time coming from Japan. But full mind is involved in it now. Not only one. One day in Mugher Mandir happened. Yeah. She see that in Ganga River is flowing. <coughs> And some parts, some river is flowing. 
and one past time she said, I say, you, you, this is not a dream, my dear. Anything what you see with Krishna, Radhika, is not a dream. That is the real time. Other thing what is you are doing and looking and sleeping, dreaming, that is dream. Sridhar Maharaj is writing. When somebody asks from Sridhar Maharaj, Krishna comes only in dream. He says, whole of life I want to be in that dream. Why? Because if he come in dream, that is the reality. Other thing is unreal. Other thing is all a dream. Real moment and time is that when he appears in my body. When he wants to give mercy, First Chaitanya is coming because Ganga River Chaitanya. And then Radhika appears. You see? Now where is Krishna? Are Krishna is there where Gauranga means Radha and Krishna. Radhika is there, Krishna is there. She went to Radha Kun, took bath, and in night time she see that Radha Rani say, I accept you. Don't, don't keep, lose connection, relation with your Gurudev. Don't forget. That's the order. you will get the right way to reach Me. Right or not? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. She was very serious. <coughs> Come to Me. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Come to Me in morning. What to do now? I said, you are a lucky <coughs> person. What you can do? Or did you accept that? And accept that I am a Radha Dasi. What to do? You accept, I also accept that. She accepts you, then what? You have to agree that. You say, You accept me, I am your servant, I will do only for you. Right? Yes. That's it. Yes. Every moment, what you do, you think that I am doing for my ceremony. You all said, after twenty years practice, chanting they cannot do. And you got the mercy the first time you come and she accepts you. What is the best? For you, she will take care of you. Don't, don't any moment keep your mind always with him. This is all the thing of your mind. If your mind is fixed, everything is fixed. So first bring your mind in Vrindavan, and when you are in Vrindavan, your flesh in Vrindavan never bring out from Vrindavan. If you do this practice, that is everything. I was one time in Barsane, I went, I say, you. Fifty years back story. I was eighteen, nineteen years old person. I was going to Dasha. Then from that side, one very sadly Mahatma is coming. I give Dandavat to him. He asked, Where you live? I said Vrindavan. 
you stay here or you come and go. Then he, I say, Maharaj, I come and go. I'm not staying here. Come and go, like mine, coming and going. <laughs> you see the sadhus, what they say. Oh, coming and going. If you want to realize something, you stay here. Then you will realize something. Means, if I am staying here physically and my mind is not here, what I will realize? Anything I can realize? I have to stay here. Why? When I go here, I not go out from Vrindavan. I bring Vrindavan with me. Mahaprabhu is telling, in your place also you can be in Vrindavan. What is meaning? Because I come to practice to keep my mind in Vrindavan and when I will go back to my town, I will feel always that I am in Vrindavan. That is Vrindavan. <coughs> Why? Vrindavan is a temple of Radhika. Temple of Radhika means she is the queen of Vrindavan. Even Krishna is known by Radha's Krishna. Nobody identify him alone. Radha Krishna, Radha Mohan, Radha Madan Mohan, Radha Govinda, Radha Damodar. So this is he identify by Radhika. Without Radhika, Krishna is in Dwarka. Then you have to go to Arita. Then there is no Radha Krishna. There is Rukumani Krishna, Lakshmi Nara. So you decide yourself, you need Lakshmi Nara and worship or you need the Radha's Krishna worship. What you want, what you want to relate? When you want to relate with Radha's Krishna, then is Vrindavan. Mm. Understand? The sure, in beginning we attract with the God consciousness because we know the God, we want to know the God, and God is Krishna. So that was the attraction that time, when I start my life. But what to know about God? Only knowing to God is the goal of life. Hundred percent doubts will never go. Because you will calculate with this mind to the God, with the philosophy to the God, and the mind has a nature to doubt. You will, you will give the logic through the philosophy to believe it, but after some moment you will doubt it. Hmm. Because the nature of the mind to doubt. Something will happen, he is a naughty, no? he is a something, he will make the trick to doubt. <clears throat> then what will happen? Then again you need logic and philosophy and the things to believe that. 
whole life will go only to know him and doubt him. <laughs> you see? Twenty years, thirty years will take time and never clear. Then the simple thing, love is God. You can reach to the God by love. Simple word. Any place you see. And this works here also. Prem bhakti jaha hoite avidya vinas jayate. When prema bhakti will come, enter in my heart, then my avidya, the doubts will finish. Without, what is the missing point? The missing point is the prema bhakti. Loving connection with you. So if there is no love, I give one example. If you have love with someone and somebody say you don't think for him, you cannot stop. This mind nature to go there where is the love. How you can stop it? So the mind will become favorable if you have a prema, prem with Krishna. And how is possible? Only by love. And who will teach me? Only Radhika can teach you. Even Krishna is not qualified to teach love. He is a beggar of love. You have to go to the Radhika's mood to learn this love. You have to go to Bhastaras if you want motherly love. You have to go to Mother Jasoda to learn this. If you want friendly love, you have to go to the friend of Krishna to learn that. How you can learn yourself? There are so many mothers of Krishna. One is Devki mother. What do you want to take the love of Devki, Ma? One mother is Jasoda Maya. One mother is Putana. You have to know the story of Devki. You have to know the story of Jasoda. You have to know the story of Putana. <coughs> then you can decide which which type of love I want to give, share with my my lover, my son, or not. It's because they are raga, in raga prema. That anuga is raga anuga. Following of that love is raga anuga. Understand, Arjuna? Yes. This is the mallow. So mind of mother is always with the son. To keeping mind there. Easy for the mother to keep mind with son. Or not? The mood is different. Devki cannot feed the breast because she adoring like a god to Krishna. Because he he see she see four and Narayan Krishna. So it's a different mood. Putana is also feed the breast, but he is mood to kill the Krishna. 
and Jasoda has a loving mood and she don't ready to believe that he is a god. This is the mother mood, Salak. One want to see as a god, one want to see as a my son, I no ready to accept God. And one wants to see how to kill this boy. Three mother. Friend, Krishna friend, Uddhava. One wants to develop big knowledge. And he is living together with Krishna. <coughs> Dress like Krishna. And he think his ego is so high that he thinks he is the highest. He is the very knowledgeable person. Krishna was sad because he is living with me. But his ego is not going. He is wearing my clothes, but his ego is more high and high. He become more proud because he is with me. How to help him? Because after living with me, he don't understand what is bhakti. Then he say. You are the perfect person. If you say some somebody has an ego, you give the respect. You are a perfect person to teach others. You see, some some ladies in Vrindavan, like my mother, they don't understand that I am a Prambhavan Parmeshwara. I am the Supreme God. I have no form no any desire, no any wish. For me is everyone is the same. You know this, right? Because you are a, you are the very high pundit, you know about me, everything you live with, with me. You say, yes, I know everything. <laughs> so go and help them. They don't understand me. They are not very educated like you and understanding like you. You can go and help them. You say, yes, yes. It's not an easy job to teach to the, some uneducated person when the, there will be no any discussion and argument because they know less than me because I am living with you. I know everything what is happening and I am looking with you. He said, go. <coughs> and you know the story when Uddhav come, what happened. <laughs> I, I will lose my real subject because what I want to say, I am giving a little hint. And what happened to Uddhav? Then he said that I want to take the dust of Brindam. I don't want to go. If I have to be a tree, I want to be in tree in Brindavan. But I don't want to leave this Brindavan because they have so much love for Krishna. Krishna is here. Krishna cannot... I will go and I will bury angry with my my friend. What you are doing here? They are in love with him and what why you are staying in not going there? They are suffering. Then Gopi, Gopi feel this. He said, he never goes from me. We are suffer when we feel separation, he is always with us. He relies, really Krishna is... 
he sent me to learn from him. He is rolling in the dust of Vrindavan. Why? Because this is the love place. Only the love can change this false ego and false knowledge. Only the gopis and radhikas, mercy can give the real way of reaching to Krishna. And you see the friends in Vrindavan, they never believe that He is a Supreme Lord. He say, we have to play. If I will win, you have to become a horse. And if I lose, I will become a horse. And to make happy to His friend, He lose the game. Krishna lose with anyone, but He lose the game. And he liked to be horse of the friends. And all devtas are surprised to see what is happening. What is this? Is this exchanging of love? What is meaning of friend if only one friend win? Both has to lose and win. That is the love. So what is the behind this? Brave. Their minds, the friend's mind never go out from his friend. They bring him to Bakunta. He start talking and shouting like Krishna, Hare, come here, come here. Then to 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 the arm arm, what you say? Duta of the Narayan come and control. You cannot behave like this. You have to be very much in etiquette. Then they start crying. It's a where they bring me. I want my Krishna. I don't need anything. For a few minutes Krishna want to show him Bakunta. He said, No, 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 I don't need I need you to to talk and fight and uh, to wrestle with you. No, 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 no. This Narayan, no business. <laughs> this is a friendship. Mother Jasuda never believed that he is a girl. He is my son. He, she, she was very worried that if if somebody says is a God, Krishna opened mouth and he see whole inverse in his mouth. That time, oh, some black magic happened to me. It's not possible. My son has an inverse in the mouth. It's not possible. Not possible. This mother can bind Krishna, you know. What is the bind? Bind means you can bind in love to anyone. Love can bind. Your knowledge cannot bind. Your intelligence cannot bind. You can bind to the mind only in love. That is the... <coughs> Keep your mind in Vrindavan means you have to take the center of Vrindavan to understand Divine Kapoor. That is the meaning. If you want to bind this mind, you have to be here to practice in Vrindavan to go in the lotus feet of Radhika. Understand, brother? O oh, mind, leave all great things or persons far from you and go to Vrindavan with love. Yes, with love. Only thing you want to bring, your greed for Vrindavan and your love to give.
if I am patit, he is patit. <coughs> this is my qualification that I am patit. Forget this. We need qualification. What is qualification? Qualification is my greed. And you say that I am not qualified for this to do, then you have no greed. Narayan Maharaj book, see hidden path of devotion. You have no greed for that. If I am not qualified, means no greed. Are no need any qualification. If you have love, you have greed, that is your qualification. <laughs> If you have love for Buddha, you want to know something, greed for that. That is my qualification. This is the conclusion of all Vedic philosophy. For there is a divine jewel. Divine jewel is there. That jewel you not see. You think that that is my great thing and great person, but you not see the jewel. When you will see the jewel, all great thing and great thing will finish. Your heart will not go, your mind will not go here. And you have to go out then you will bring that also with you. So where you will live, that will become Vrindavan. Where you will sit, because of your mind is fixed there, so you will bring Vrindavan with you. Because you are bringing jewel, keeping always jewel in your mind and heart. Before was great thing was attraction, now jewel is attraction for me. A nectar stream of good moods named Radha. Loudly. A nectar stream mm. of good moods. Mm. Good mood. Nectar. You know? Nectar, when you drink that, you, you, no need to die. That is nectar. Amrita. But that is stream of good mood, the whole life will become like a stream of good mood. Like a stream, it's not endless. Every activities will become in good mood, because nectar you receive from them. A nectar stream of good moods named Radha, there who redeems the sincere souls. Sincerity of your mind is only working here. Sincere soul. What is this? This sincere soul has a fixed mind, fixed heart. That is my sincerity. It's not a conclusion of all Vedic philosophy. It's not easy. Is 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 not a meaning. It's a deep meaning.
and then you chant. You will not leave the chanting. Then you meet with the devotees or non-devotees, you will always like to serve them. Because for you all nectar stream is there of the goodness is there. Always you want to give goodness because you are nectar. You receive the nectar and your stream is with that. Every moment and circumstances of your life is in goodness and happiness. That is the sincerity. So she will redeem the sincere souls. See? Loudly. Radharani will redeem the sincere souls. Redeem means? Redeem means save. Shelter. You see? He only searching for sincere and she will protect the sincere soul. Right? Kishori? Yes. Yes? <laughs> she is electricity. <laughs> now what will happen to you? She accept you. I, um, you say so, but I can't really maybe understand what happened to me. <laughs> I, um, it's so special things, uh, I think so, but I'm beginner, so I'm, I'm beginner. So in beginning this is happening as far as I not beginning but beginning. <laughs> what will happen after that? You see the cat baby? When she goes she brings the baby also in her mouth. So why you to bother? The mother has a botheration to bring the baby. Feel like a cat baby. Because you are big now. Right? This is also good that no qualification I'm big <laughs> No knowledge. No qualification. I'm a beginner. No false ego is there. <laughs> so she catch you. <laughs> you understand? This is the beauty of Sabri. She catch the beginners. She catch the patita. You see the mother in this material world. If he has a five children, he take the children who is less qualified and less less earning. She care to that boy because she knows that he, he this boy need help because he is not earning much. He need more my care, and she hidingly gives some money, caring everything. Because this is the nature of mother. She takes the only who is beginner, who is not doing anything. He is a child, baby. Always feel that he is still baby. Other are grown up. His baby is still. Grown up child, no bother. Mother, not bother. This is the nature. And the, see the father nature? 
He only like qualified child. If he is not qualified, then father will not like that. If he is not earning, not like it. <laughs> this is the nature of the male, and the motherly nature is like this. <laughs> So keep the mind in the lotus feet of the Swamini because this is the nectar and from there stream will come, always it will be in goodness in your life. Read the same line. For there is a divine jewel, a nectar stream of good moods named Radha. She redeems the sincere souls. Only sincerity is important. Mind has to fix that. Understand? There. Very good. Yes. You understand? You like it? Yes yeah? or not? Yes. Yeah. Go on. Commentary? Commentary. The Divine Jewel of Sri Vrindavan. Transcendental greed is the very life force of Raga Bhakti. Mm? Transcendental greed <coughs> is the very life force of Raga Bhakti. Explain. What is meaning? There is difference between transcendental and material. First, there is one material and one is trans transcendental. Pandiji, say about that. Uh, material greed, uh, we can see clearly in the in the child, because the child is not hiding this. When we grow up, we hide our greed. But if we are honest with ourselves, we can see this material greed and that we want more and more and more. We have something, we have a lot of money, but we want more money. And spiritual greed is the opposite. That Radharani is the topmost servant. She is the giver. She's always giving, giving, giving. And we want to serve that mood, her mood of giving. So we turn it around. Greed for instead of taking, 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 we want to serve this mood of giving, giving, giving. It's another, another greed. Yeah. The greed is important and his spiritual greed is <coughs> That may bring you to divine lotus feet. Oh, so many others. <laughs> Greed is spiritual. So transcendental greed is the very life force of Raga Bhakti. When a devotee becomes greedy after the pure loving mood of the eternally perfect associates of Krishna in Braj. So this is when a devotee becomes greedy after the pure loving mood of the eternally perfect associates of Krishna in Braj. You see, associate in Braj. I say you three associates. <coughs> you see Bhagavad Gita, he start from this. We are reading, but we are reading for what? We are listening many harikatha for what? What greed developed in my life? Where I decide to follow the associate of Braja? 
Prabhupada write page 4, you will see, 22 times about the relation. And he said to select one of the relations in your life. Means you have to associate in braja in one relationship. That greed come in my life. After how many years you practice? Say, yeah? Uh, Twenty-eight. Greed come to you? When I met Shilan Narayan Maharaj and those who were associated with him, then I started to understand what, what greed is because I could feel it sometime that I was running madly after hearing more about Krishna and Vrindavan. And before what you are doing? I Say was, honest. I was working with radio, Krishna, TV, Krishna, preaching to schools, cooking in the temple, uh, teaching new bhaktas about Krishna consciousness. After I met Sri Narayan Maharaj, then I started to run madly for hearing Harikatha about Krishna and Vrindavan. In Mallow you start or not? In Mallow? I could, I could sometimes get a glimpse of some Mallow, but um, I was maybe too much <coughs> covered by material energy to actually start to develop that. This was about ten years ago. You understand what is problem? Too much philosophy. Too much material energy. The subject of the greed and the mallow we miss. What happened when you are reading this page four? Then what happened? <coughs> Say honestly. You see this experience. This was this. He the he the he a PhD. He is a very educated. Only reading many books. Master in physics. Master in physics. Master in reading. <laughs> <laughs> Lifetime student. <laughs> yeah. This was the first thing I read from Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, introduction to Bhagavad Gita. And it took me one week to read that uh, introduction, about 20, 30 pages. And then I came back to that introduction again and again um, for 20, 25 years. And uh, every time I thought that this is very nice, so much nice in this introduction, but this particular part on page 4 that Sadhu Maharaj want us to hear that I was like a frog. <laughs> <laughs> Jumping over this. Why? Well, now I understand. Then I didn't understand why, because the, at that time I just said, no, I don't want to read this. But now I understand that this, this page 4 that speaks so much about relationship, it requires something from me, it demands something, Krishna demands something from me that it was difficult for me to surrender to this, to, to have a personal relationship. So it was not until I met Shri Guru Dev who introduced this 
introductory page four in the Bhagavad Gita in my consciousness. And by reading it again and again during the last two, three years together with him, I gradually become a little more softened to hear this message from Prabhupada. So this is the subject here. We repeat this class. When a devotee becomes greedy... After greedy! Go on. <laughs> when he becomes greedy after the pure... If you want to know greedy, read <coughs> hidden path of devotion of Narayana. Yeah, you see, my Pandiji always <laughs> Beg, borrow or steal? If you are greedy, you, you, you just read, listen, greed. Go on, beg, borrow, steal. Say something. Yeah, it is everywhere. Here is a in the page number three. Here is the introduction to the subject of uh, greed. Gurudev says, on the other hand, bhakti which is based only on the genuine greed to follow in the footsteps of the gurus. You see, same line. <coughs> Food step of the gopis is specific rupanuga. This is rupanuga. Such greed is generated by hearing the pastimes of Krishna and the gopis described <laughs> in Srimad Bhagavatam and by reading the books of the Goswamis and especially by being in the association of a Raganuga Bhakta or a Rupanuga Bhakta. Without the association of a Raganuga Bhakta, the pastimes of Krishna and the gopis cannot be properly understood. And Sadhu Maharaj, he made a comment to this the first time I read it to him. He said, uh, we cannot understand these pastimes and the, of Krishna and the gopis from our material identity. Material body consciousness and sense will make great subject because senses need great subject and this will material subject body without identifying your soul consciousness without you know that your spiritual greed will not go on. You have to differentiate to. This is a spiritual and this is material. My soul is a spiritual, my flesh and body and my senses are material. If you move out, the soul is material. You mix up, then you suffer and you forget your soul and you only think for the senses and body. Then you have a great subject to do with material thing, your family, your person, 
they are the great. Krishna is not. His spiritual greed is not there because when you will differentiate, then his spiritual greed will grow. You want to do like this, his spiritual thing, no work. <coughs> you have to open avideha. One sambandh is deha sambandh, one sambandh is avideha sambandh. Deha means physical sambandh, bodily sambandh. Avideha means realizing myself that I am living soul and this soul has a relation with super soul. This is I and I am a Krishna Das. Jivere Sarupai Nitya Krishna Das. Then Sadhak Rupena Seva Sagat Sadhak Rupena and Siddha Rupena Chatrahi. Sadhak Rup, your physical body will always in service. And Sadhak Siddha Rupena Chatrahi. And he will protect your Sadhak Rup. It will be influenced by your Siddha Rup. <coughs> your spiritual consciousness. Your body and senses will work under your soul. Not the, you will work and so you will forget your soul. The umbrella will be the Siddha Rupa and Chhatrahi. Means your Siddha Rupa will be an umbrella for your Sadhak Rupa. Yes? Sorry, I cannot go more. Next, tomorrow. We will go more. Radhe Radhe Govinda Govinda My dear, this is the Krishna wants that we come to serve Him. And when 
I were really serious to serve him. I will first solve our question in life. My questions, my problems has to automatic solve. And I can help to other to solve their problems. This is the work to do in life. Sometimes, when I was in family life, I have many questions, many debts, many things to pay, many things. After so many things, and I only make the list how to solve that. But it, economic unbalanced condition was like that, that I cannot do. And now I see when I sometimes meditate, see that, what is happening to that. So everything is solved. And who solved? Not I do. It happens. And by whom? With my sons. They do it. No problem. They solve our problem. And who gives this Sakti? Then Radha Mohan gives this Sakti. In Hindi they say, Bare putra pita ke dharme a kheti ubje apne karma. When the children are growing, what is the reason behind that? Because the parents are so devoted and they want to serve to the Lord all the time, then children are doing nice. And when you have to cultivate something in agriculture farm, you have to go and work there. You say that I am sitting in here and my agriculture will be done. It's not working. You have to work there. And if you want to see your children to grow, you have to be a pure devotee and serve to the, with the full mind and full breath to Krishna. Automatic they will do. Krishna is the source to give the idea and solve the problem. Who I am? You are doing everything is happening. People think that I am doing. You see, you are here. You are sitting just front in my room. I never go out from this room from one week, right or not? Why? I am fearful when I will go out, then I will catch by something to manage, because nature to manage. So I don't want to see anything. And everything is happening outside or not? <laughs> I'm fearful that something will catch me, material world. Mm -hmm. I have to do my bhajan. Doctors say you have to walk. I say, yes, yes, I will walk. <laughs> I want to walk, but I am fearful when I will see, I will try, I will collect twenty points. <laughs> Then I will think in twenty points. Why to do this? Only one pointed program, why not? Why twenty point program? One pointed program. Make it in your life one pointed program. What? Guru and Easter. That's it. My Guru and Easter. Jesus said, I am Master. 
I can show you the way. I am not goal. It stays the goal. Guru is not a goal. Guru is showing the way. I have to walk myself to reach the goal. <coughs> he can show you a way. If you behave like a baby, then he will catch in your in mouth and bring to the bright goal. When you are educated, learned, more qualified, then he will not bother for that. Like mother, baby, catch only the innocent baby, not to the grown-up baby he put in mouth and move up in place. Who has no eyes, no vision to see, no he, she can, baby can walk, then she will take in the mouth. Means you have no qualification, then mother takes in mouth. If you have qualified, you have to do yourself. He show you the way. Understand? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Very simple, very easy, and very straight. No complications. We preacher make complicated to you that you, you don't understand anything. Immediately to understand, straight to understand. This is soul only has to understand. <coughs> this is the nature of the soul to understand super soul. What is the problem? Is the nature. Soul is coming <coughs> from the super soul. Soul is coming from the Krishna. This is the nature to our soul to understand his place of welcoming. Nobody says is a mother. But baby in nature to understand she is my mother. You they introduce father, he is your father. But nobody introduces he is your mother. He is a baby knows that she is my mother. He is a navel connection. He is a breast connection to the baby. This similarly soul has navel and breast connection. Why to to many subject to understand? Is a navel to navel. Nobody say mother is a mother. Mother only say he is your father. You see? This is the nature of the soul. <laughs> to understand my origin. But if you try to understand from your senses to your origin, then it's different. If you try to understand from flash to origin, different. 